Very good. Perfect. That's very good. I'm sure you played it a lot of times. You have a lot of ideas about the, the introduction, the melody in, in your head about it. Will you share this, these ideas with us? Um, I'm trying to, to phrase um, like long phrases rather than um, with um, crescendis, but not too obvious to mm -hmm. make it just breathe a bit, uh, a bit more, but not uh, yeah, too obvious. Uh, and also, since it's less, um, there is less sound, and I'm going up here. I want to to be able to to match the mm -hmm. the sound. Yeah. yeah. Um, is there some some kind of character or a composer or a category you have in your head um, for for these first bars? Do you do you want to play it like a Mahler symphony no. or like a Beethoven piece or not Mahler but um, maybe a bit like Brahms some, uh, at some point. Um. What about Schubert? In einem Bächlein helle da schwamm in froher Eil right. die launische Forelle. Yeah. So think about a, a, a very smooth and, and innocent piece of music Schubert mm -hmm. wrote. Right. Like, like singing very naturally, very organically, uh, not trying to make <laughs> some, some big romantic thing out of it. Okay. I think it comes, because we have, we have four, four notes here, four different notes. Um, I think it's good to, to let it very naturally flow. Okay. What we really do want to know is what is the loudest note in, in your first phrase? Let me. Yeah. Are you sure? Because I didn't hear it like that. Do, do you mind playing the, the first yeah. bars again? And really exaggerate. If you're not sure, just exaggerate to, to be sure. Good. To, to what key are we playing? Right. Si C major, uh, uh, right? Pa -di -da -di -dum, pa -dum. So, in my opinion, uh, opinion, the C has to be the, the the fullest note. The loudest is maybe a little bit tricky, but but the, the fullest note. So everybody needs to know it leads to to the C. Mm -hmm. Good. One thing uh, you mentioned is that you try to matching those small timpanis to the to the bigger ones. Yeah. Uh, so you're giving slightly more there, is that right? But what happens when you play louder on a on a very small? Uh, it's more. Yeah, there is more attack, I guess. Yes, you get more attack. So you don't just uh, match the the dynamics, yeah. but you also slightly change character. Mm -hmm. So if you if you can. If it's a good idea because you really have a big difference between the, the small and the big one. But try to be I as stay. open as possible yeah. and not getting some sforzato, staccato, or anything okay. like that. Because then you, then you change the sound and you right. change the character. Mm -hmm. okay. Do you mind uh, just checking the, the intonation? For me, okay. Okay. Try again, please. Very good. Perfect. And in the, in the second part of the of the uh, interlude, we're going to the G, right? So I'm questioning the dum ba dum ba dum mm, okay. because I think we have pa di da di da di dum ba dum ba dum bum ba and not ba dum ba dum pa da. Okay. That's what I mean with don't make it too um, too much too much out of it. What what's not not written in right. in, in in it. Okay.
very nice. And one, one small thing for, for the sound in general, what I hear a little bit, and that's not your fault because that's playing timpani, ta, 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 uh -huh. ta, ta, ta. Okay. What we want to hear is but we can't, of course. We don't have a bow, we don't play a wind instrument. So what we do have on the timpani is always, if, if we do want or, or don't want, we have an attack, mm -hmm. and after the attack we have a slight diminuendo. Right? It's, it's yeah. And we only have, have those, uh, these possibilities, playing, playing the tones. So try to make it as, as even as possible, try to make the suggestion you're playing legato, mm -hmm. Um, with a bow, mm -hmm. on one bow, and not ta ti ta ti ta, and watch your your movements. You can also try just on, on, on one tone. It's a difference if you play. Mm -hmm. That's giving. That's Brahms first on the beginning. Pa pa pa. Okay, but. Smoothen up the, the, the yes, better, better. Try again. It's it's a little bit uncomfortable for you because you're very used to playing. come to the there we we enter uh, a slightly different part of the music mm -hmm. but now so try to make this this connection slightly more special Okay. Slightly more, more on the roll. two different types of rolls and connected um, notes. The one is on one timpani. Or make sure that if you roll on a note and you have the, the eight or, or quarter note um, on the same mm -hmm. timpani you're rolling, that you have the same connection like if you are changing timpani. Mm -hmm. Can you play again from Yes, very good. Once again, also when you play and not ti tam pam, don't give you some some subdivision. Or if you do one, it's fine for timing, but don't do it um, audible. Yeah, I, see. I hear I hear a little bit of. The role is our only chance as a timpanist to really make uh, legato. Mm -hmm. So you use the chance to, to have the connection in, in, in the sound. Right, okay. And when you do the ritatando, uh, I'm, I'm very fond of not doing it like 
so much. Wagner Goethe Dämmerung in the last few bars. It, it, we, we didn't play Goethe Dämmerung, but. Um, pa ti da dum pom 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 pom. Mm -hmm. Very naturally and very smooth, but maybe a little bit more than, than you did. Okay. Uh, do you mind doing the last four or eight bars? Yeah. 